Okay, nieces and nieces. So you guys who follow me on Instagram know that I found her. All right. So I have been so anxious. And you're not supposed to be anxious for anything. But I wanted to get this candle in my possession because it is similar to my most favorite candle of all time by any brand. And that is Frosted Moscow Mule. So my girl Tina Marie, she did find this on yesterday. And she said that the... I think the liquor or the boozy note in it was not as strong as Frosted Moscow Mule. So, just smelling this initially on cold, it smells almost just like Frosted Moscow Mule, in my opinion. So, what we're about to do, we're going to put her on the warmer to see what she gives. Okay, so as you can see, the scent notes in the Frosted Moscow Mule are sweet lime, lemon, zest, sugar cane with essential oils. And the scent notes in the Champagne Margarita is freshly squeezed lime, bubbly champagne, sugar cane crystals with essential oil. So, we are going to see exactly what it's giving in my opinion all right so i have placed this on my lamp warmer if you're interested in this lamp warmer thanks to kimball candles it is linked below it is a hobby lobby lamp warmer so this is the champagne margarita and i'll be back with you guys shortly to let you know my initial thoughts on champagne margarita and to let you know if this will fulfill that frosted Moscow Mule want or desire if you were not able to get it Candle Day 2020. 2020. That's right. See you guys shortly. Okay, we're back. All right, so as you can see, it has melted evenly to about an inch down. You guys, <clears throat> I must agree with Tina. She said that, that I guess the boozy drink effervesc effervescent note is really, really provided in the Moscow Mule. You're definitely getting a very similar note in the Champagne Margarita. Now, the formulation and the ingredients may have just a similar twist to it. However, you can genetically wax through wax genetics. That that doesn't even make sense, but you get what I'm saying. You can do, you can definitely trace this champagne margarita back to the Moscow Mule. And the way that Tina said it, she said they are brothers and sisters. They're not twins. And even if I went as far to say that they are almost alike. If they were twins, they definitely aren't identical twins. It would definitely be a fraternal twin situation. So it is good. I don't think that the throw is as heavy as the Moscow Mule, but please be mindful. I've never put a Moscow Mule on this warmer. I always burned it. So I might come back with a part two or a continuation of this comparison once I get my hands on more of the champagne margarita. I do 
believe that I want to get a crate of these. So hopefully they will have a sale soon and I'll be able to purchase a crate because it's almost like if you can't get the bins, get the beamer. So if you can't get what, you know, some may consider the best, get the next best thing. So um, I'm down to one crate of Moscow Mule. Um, I will not be sharing. Um, uh, I will definitely be keeping those. If I get rid of everything in my collection, I do plan on having those Moscow mules. So I am glad that they came out with something that I can enjoy, which is this champagne margarita and continue to hold on to a hoard. Cause that's definitely what I'm doing with them. Hoarding them hoard these Moscow Mule. And in the comments below, let me know if you have ever heard of a candle going bad, the wax going bad, and it doesn't burn or it doesn't provide what candles normally provide or, or if they have like an expiration date. Please let me know because I definitely would like to enjoy my Moscow Mules before allowing them to go bad. So, um, I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. So, the projection on this, let's go with projection. The projection here, I'm standing right here on it. And it's just not as heavy as I can recall the Moscow Mule being. The projection is probably about a five. And... Mm, I'm thinking about body care. Let's scratch that. We're not going to even do projection. We're just going to do throw. The throw is probably about a six and a half. Because with my Moscow Mule, I could light that upstairs and smell it downstairs and vice versa. Um, on my way up the stairs, I did not smell this champagne margarita until I got into the hallway. That's right across from the room where I'm currently standing. So it didn't even show up midways up the staircase. So um, we'll see. It may get better with time. So let me know below um, if you plan on picking up this candle. Like I said, if you can't get the bins, get the beamer. Because I do think that it will be the next best or the best alternative that I've experienced for the Frosted Moscow Mule. Thank you guys for coming back to the channel. And do not forget, you are great. You, yes, you, you are great. Bye-bye.